Hi. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi, Williams. Hi, Eric. Elmer. Elmer, Hi. you're back. Diego. Good evening, Jose. my dear teacher. How are How you, are Elmer? I'm fine. Nice to have you in class again. Hi, Rocio, Francisco, Walter. Very good, Walter. Lisette Padilla. Very good. Nice. Oh, Evelyn, Torres. Very good. How's everybody? Everybody okay? Hi, teachers. Yes. 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 Very good. Nice. Nice to have you in classes every single night, except for Elmer that was not here with us before. All right. So, guys, we are going to be talking today about describing problems too. That's a little bit down the uh, platform. Again, we're still on section one, but that's like the main um, grammar we're talking about. The, the last two days, we have been talking about describing problems one, which means that we have been using past participles as adjectives as well as nouns. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about describing problems in a different way. All right. But at the end of the day, it's like more for you to know how to say things in English, all right? So let's go on here, guys, with the right. presentation that I have here for you, as every night. So here we have describing problems too, all right? And that's how you're gonna find it on the platform. I think it's 1.7 or 1.9, about that. All right, so here we have, this is what we're going to study today, and I want you to follow me here. Uh, we are going to study these three things tonight. Keep, you, we're going to use the verb keep and the verb need, all right, keep, we're going to always use it with gerunds, need, we're going to use passive infinitive, or also we can use need with gerunds, all right, and I'm going to tell you how it works, and I'm going to show you examples, and then we're going to do some exercises, okay? So far, so good? Yes. No? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, okay, so keep this gerund, all right? Remember the gerund, it looks like a... Um, Present continuous, but it's not really present continuous. It finishes with ing, like playing, singing, burning, breaking, uh, crying, and all those, all right? So here we says, uh, Williams, can you read this piece? We use this way. Use this way to describe problems or actions that keep repeating over and over again. All right, so when are we going to use keep plus gerund when something, an action, or a problem keeps on repeating, all right? For example, you say, oh no, my car keeps breaking, all right? Or um, the computer keeps, I don't know, the computer keeps on, keep making a funny noise, all right? Keeps making a funny noise. So when the problem is like over and over and over again, then that is when we're going to use keep plus gerund, all right? So you say here, for example, Elmer, can you read the examples, please? My TV keeps turning off okay. my head. Okay. Uh -huh, Elmer, the other one. Yes, her, her, dog, her dog keeps barking. Yeah, it doesn't shut up. His, it keeps on barking. Uh -huh. His headphone keeps ringing. All right. Okay. So someone is calling you over and over and over again. And I said, oh my goodness, his cell phone keeps ringing. All right. Or I said, her dog keeps barking again and again and again. My TV, uh, my TV keeps turning off, all right? So for some reason, my TV keeps turning off. So the action or the problem is like happening again and again and again, all right? So when that happens, situation like that, then you have to use the verb keep plus gerund. It will depend if you are talking about third person singular that you're going to use keeps or just keep. All right, so for example, my TV is only one. My, my TV keeps turning off, all right? If I would say my TV is because I have two or I have three, then I would say my TV, my TV is keep turning off, all right? So th remember that the tense, you have to respect that, all right? So just don't forget that. Or her dogs, you have, maybe she has four dogs or she has three dogs. Her dogs keep barking. So the verb keep is going to have the inflection or the change whenever it's needed. Do you follow me? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. All right, yeah. very it's good. Un only describe problem, teacher. Yes, right now, that's right. I mean, or a situation, maybe it's not problematic, but something that, you know, you can say, oh, my boss keeps telling me again and again to do the report. 
It's not mm -hmm. a problem, but it's like kind of like a situation going on in it, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Chinging, okay. chinging, chinging. Yeah, like you say, Elmer yeah. keeps singing every time he takes a shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah? So, or you say, or you, you keep on, you know, you ke he keeps writing and he writes every day, all day, right? So, it, when it you have is, a situation, mm -hmm. it is going maintaining a, a situation. Right, yes. Okay, very mm. good, Elmer, very good. No, no, not exactly a, 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 a problem. problem. No, the thing is, Elmer, that if you have watched the platform with the teacher that is there, all right, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. they are describing problems. Like okay. the, the, the platform or the, the book, when we have the book here, we it's they focus the on aspect. describing problems, all right? But no, you can use it in general, Elmer. I mean, if okay. something, if an action keeps on repeating, you're going to use keep plus jam. Okay, all right? thank you. Very good, thank you. All right, very good. Here we have questions about this, guys. Anybody else with a question? Besides Elmer that was asking a question. Anybody else? Uh, Jose, Ramos, or Diego, or Walter, Rocio, so I, I have a question. Yes, William. So when we use a plural, we don't need to add else. That's right. It's keep. Right. Yeah, in singular, it's That's right. keep. That's right, okay. yes. Okay, Very thank you. Yeah. yeah, you have to respect the rules of the simple present tense. All right, if you're saying it on simple present tense. If you say, oh, my TV kept turning off, that was yesterday. And then the verb goes, the verb keep goes back to past. Mm -hmm. All right, it okay. kept turning off. Remember that when you have a verb, it can be in any tense. In this case, like as the platform showed you, and that's what we're concentrating on, we're talking about simple present, Williams, but it can be past if you want to. You would say, you can tell me, Jessica, you know what? My TV yesterday kept on turning off. I'm like, wow, really? Maybe there's a ghost in your house. All right. So you tell me a situation that passed yesterday. So that verb keep can be like inflected by the tense that you are using. All right. And future. Yeah. I mean, my TV, if you predict the future, you say, oh, my TV <laughs> will keep turning off. All right. So it's kind of weird. But yeah, you could. All right. Yes. Very good. All right. Thank you for that question, very nice. Now we're going to talk about the verb need. Again, we're describing problems here. Need plus passive infinity. Oh, infinity, whoops, there's a spelling here. Uh, infinity. All right. Infinity, right that? Infinity, like that, right? Oh my God. Yeah, all right. You guys are not helping me wake up. You guys are sleeping. All right, so we have, we have here need plus passive infinitive, and this is the structure, all right? So we say the clothes, which you can call it a receiver, or you can call it a noun if you want. Need, it's need because we have clothes, all right? And it's plural. The clothes yeah. need to be picked up, all right? Now, the structure is the following. Need, we need we're using need, so need is gonna be there. Plus to be, that's why it's called passive infinitive. It's called infinitive because you have to use to, all right? And it's passive because it's, it derives from passive voice. We're not gonna get into passive voice right now, but that is how passive voice is structured with the verb be, all right? And because it's infinitive, we need to add to before the verb be. And then we need the past participle of all right, so here we say the clothes need to be picked up, okay? And it's always, this is going to be the structure all the time. The noun or the subject or the receiver as you wanna call it, plus need because we're using that verb specifically, plus to be, plus past participle. In this case, we're not, con we're not going to conjugate to be. We're not gonna say is, we're not gonna say are, we're not gonna say am. Um. Why? Because it's infinitive, all right? And remember when it's infinitive, we don't conjugate the verbs, okay? So in this case, that's how it's gonna look like. And we also need the past participle of any verb that we need to express or that we need to use. So in this case, when my children get undressed, when they go to take a shower, I say, oh my goodness, these clothes or that clothes need to be picked up. 
By whom? I don't know. Maybe by them or maybe by me. Right? Point is that that needs to be picked up because it's on the floor. All right? Okay. So you have to use that is the structure. Need plus to be plus past participle of any verb. All right? You cannot have any other thing. You cannot say the clothes need to be picked up. No, forget it. It's past participle. You need to know the past participles of your verbs. Okay? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Then we can use need plus gerund, okay? Then it's a little bit different. Then we say the clothes need picking up. The gerund, ing, all right? So need gives us two choices. We can say need plus passive infinitive, or we can use need plus gerund, all right? Now, what's the difference? The, the, the way you structure it. Is there a difference in meaning? No. You're saying exactly the same thing. Okay. Right? So just like we yesterday and the day before, we had two ways using nouns, using there is, there are, or have, or has. Here, we're using need in two ways, but the meaning doesn't really change. You're saying exactly the same thing. Okay, you can say, the clothes need to be picked up, or you can say the clothes need picking up. Now, if you ask me, Jessica, which one do we use like most? Uh, we use this one, the first one. All right. It doesn't okay. mean that this one is not common. It is. All right. But it's a little bit less common. Which one is more formal or informal? They are both the same. But okay. this one is the most like commonly used. All right. It's up to you. If you remember this structure, use this one. If you remember the other structure, use the other one. But the idea is the same. All right, okay. you get it? Yeah, okay, very yes. good. Questions? Ponte me preocupo. Jennifer, questions? Diego, Jose Ramos. Hi, hi, Rocio. Questions, no questions. Um, Evelyn, Francisco, Manuel, you guys are quiet today, my goodness. Teacher. Question, teacher. Waltercito, no questions? It'd be easier or this, this no, question to clear. Excellent. Clear yeah. Teacher. All right, very good. Ana, Eli, no las había saludado. I'm sorry. We have a Juan Arevalo also. Magdiel, hello, Magdiel. We have, oh my goodness, we have a lot of people today. Questions, guys? No questions? No, already. All right, excellent. No, I like that. Very good. Okay, so here. So you have no questions for me. I have questions for you. All right, okay. is that okay? <laughs> no se aproveche, right? <laughs> All right, very good. All right, Eric Abarca, are you ready? Mm, yeah, I think. Yeah, of course, you're always ready. <laughs> Let's see, we have a microwave and it's not very clean. All right, so I want you to pretend that you come to my house and you say, Jessica, and you say something about the microwave using the need plus the passive infinitive. Okay. Okay. Jessica, come on, what happened? <laughs> your micro your microwave oven needs to be cleaned. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, Jessica, come on, right? Está en cuarentena, you have a lot of time to do it. No, I'm kidding, I don't have time. All right, very good. Yeah, so very good. Your microwave oven needs to be cleaned, all right? Why needs? Because it's only one microwave oven. All right, very good, Eric. All right, Eric, can you choose some of your other classmates, please? Um, William. All right, Williams, can you do the other one, Williams? The same sentence, I mean, the same situation, Williams, here. But yeah. now I want you to use need plus gerund, Williams. Okay, um, Jessica, your microwave <laughs> <laughs> need clean. needs cleaning. I'm like, oops, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll clean it tomorrow, all right? <laughs> Very good. All right, Francisco, ready, Francisco? Thank you, Williams. Very good job. Okay. Francisco, ready? Yeah? Yes. All right. So you come to my house, Francisco, and you open the fridge, and then you say, oh, no, Jessica, right? And I want you to use throw out. In, using need 
plus passive infinitive. Okay. With attitude, Francisco. I'm going to mal, bye. Wow, Jessica. Wow, I'm kidding, all right? Uh-huh. What does... What he has in his hand, I, think uh, I don't know a, if... Yeah, I think it's a spoiled food. I don't know, maybe something that is ugh, rotten or something. It's food, <laughs> I guess. Like a chicken from like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Jessica, I, I am open your refrigerator. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to be... You need <laughs> to be... Thrown out. Thrown out, <laughs> yes. Okay, the food needs to be, all right, needs to be thrown out. Very good, all right. Good, Francisco. All right, let's see. Elmer, ajá, Elmer, a ver, hágame sentir mal. Eso, para eso es bueno usted, pero anyway. Ajá, Elmercito. No. With I, Neil, I... Neil, with Jaron, uh, Elmer. Jaron. Ajá, Neil with Jaron. Uh, the garbage needs taking out. Throwing out in this case because you're using throwing out. All right, yeah, the garbage. Okay, it needs throwing out. All right, okay, I will do it. I promise. All right, let's see. Uh, Diego Galicia, can you do the wash of my dishes with need plus gerund right now? Okay, uh, hey, hey, Jessica, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> The dishes need uh, washing. Washing, very good, Diego, excellent, very nice. Thank you very much. Eli, I want you to tell me the sentence with need plus passive infinitive. Elita, Eli Larin, Eli Eli? No? All right, maybe Jenny. Hola. Oh, oh, hi, Eli, uh -huh. can you tell me the sentence with uh, need plus passive the... infinitive? About the dishes. The dishes. Um, the dishes need to be washed mm -hmm. up. Washed. washed. Well, yeah, okay. The, need, the dishes need to washed. be washed. Very good. All right. Jennifer, are you ready, Jennifer? Yes. Excellent. Always ready, right? Very good. Um, the floor. Look at the floor. It's a mess. Okay. So tell me the sentence using need plus ing. Or the gerund. Uh, your floor needs to be swept. Swept. Uh, okay, so you're using the the need plus passive infinitive. Okay, okay, very good. The floor, your floor needs to be swept. Okay, very good. Okay. Swept. Yes, very good. Uh, can you do the other one? Sweep. I mean, need plus gerund, Anna. Um, the floor. Yes, please. The floor need need sweeping. Yes. All right. Or well, the only thing, Anita, that you have to say the floor needs because it's only one big okay. floor. Okay. Need. The floor needs sweeping. Very good. All right. Very good. Juan Arevalo. Thank you, Ana. What about the garbage take out? Can you tell me that sentence using pa, um, uh -huh. need plus Passive infinitive? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, the garbage, you said? Yes, please. Uh, okay, so the, um, the trash needs to be taken out. Okay, very good. All right, and the last one, right. yes, can you, very good sentence. Uh, can you tell me the same sentence with need plus gerund? Um, I, well, I just came and so I didn't. Oh, uh, oh that's okay, but you did yeah, great. But, was, but you did great. Thank uh -huh. you. You yeah, want to try the other listening. one? Yeah, you said the, the infinity. Or, uh, or now the, with need plus gerund. Um, okay, so let me see. Mm -hmm. Now plus need plus gerund. Right. Oh, okay, so trash needs 
needs um, needs because it's only one big trash taken, needs. Taken uh -huh. out. All right. Okay. Take. Okay. The trash needs taken out. Very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good job. Okay. All right. Nice. Very good. All right. Question. Uh, do you have any questions? Anybody? No question. No questions. You're no. doing okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right. So let me find so here. It's clear. <laughs> Very good. Just give me one second here. I need to put this picture here so we can work on this one. All right. So here we have it. Okay. Can you please take a picture of this right now? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Did you take a yeah. picture? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So this is what I want you to do right now. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, hold on. Ah, okay. 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 So this is what I want you to do right now. What I want you to do right now is I want you to make sentences with everything that we have learned so far. Okay. So some of your sent, I'm not going to tell you how many sentences you, you write as many sentences as you can think of. Okay. I want you to write sentences using um, describing problems with a uh, past participles as adjectives other sentences using it as nouns, all right? Other sentences using keep plus gerund, all right? Another sentence using need plus passive infinitive, and another sentence using need plus gerund, all right? In order for you to describe the whole picture, all right? So if let's say that there are 10 things that you discover, so kind of like divide two, two, and two kind of thing, all right? So the idea is for you to realize that you can express the problem that is going on with different um, different ways of saying things you understand what you're supposed to do yeah yeah all right try to do it always on the computer so when i come to the group i can see what you're working on all right so i can read the sentences and if you have any mistakes or any any questions or anything i can always look at it and we can talk about it okay Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. So let's go right now to our breakout rooms. There you go, guys. Okay. Diego, Jose and Evelyn, can you guys go to your rooms? Jose Ramos and Diego. Needs fixing. Okay. 
can you hear me? Yes, yes. The wall needs fixing. Mm. Okay. Do you guys have the picture? Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Yes. And let me see what else. Hi. Hello. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. I was connected with the computer, but suddenly something happened. I'm okay. trying to connect again okay. from my cell phone. All right, so yeah. I'm gonna send you right now, uh, Jose, to a group, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Did you get the invitation, Jose?
but I don't know. But we, we will use, uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to we use it. Yeah. About the window? I Hi, think. Williams. Hi, Rocio. How are Hi. you doing? Hi. Hi. We have we to describe first. All right. Maybe some. The ceiling is broken. The wall yeah. is stained. There is a stain on the rug. Very good. There are dirty clothes on the floor. <laughs> How do you say? Uh, mm -hmm. There is a mess. <laughs> How do you say? You can see. Um, what about from the bottom? It says the ceiling need to be repaired or ceiling needs to be repaired. Uh, needs. Needs. The plan needs to be watered. Very good. The door keeps opening. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> All right. The wall is stained. Okay. Very good. For the for number four, you need to change it somehow because it's yes. not really. Uh -huh. Yeah. In this case, it's not. Yeah. But the rest is okay. You're doing fine. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hi, Elita. Hi, Francisco. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? You have the picture or you finished already? Ah, mire que galán. Very good. All right. Can you share yes. some? Yes, Eli. Uh, El compañero tenía dudas eh, de que si teníamos que usar lo de ayer, el tema de ayer o solo el NID ahorita. Eh, la idea era usar todo. En algunas oraciones, en la, en la past participle as adjectives, en otra como noun. Eso es la de clase de ayer y de antier. Y luego ahora, con lo que estamos viendo ahorita de NID plus gerund or NID plus passive infinitive. Mm. Según tutti frutti. Ah, pues eso no lo he entendido yo. Uh -huh. Solo la otra parte de la de las primeras lo uh -huh. había entendido. Ah, okay, no es es todo, Eli. Como estamos tratando de describir problemas de cualquier. Estoy en la clase. Uh -huh. A las la diez. No, that's okay. I'm like, are you talking to me, Eli? <laughs> Perdón. Ah, sí, entonces vamos a, a trabajar en eso. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Gracias. Thank you. Pues sí, hay que hacer de las otras también. Mm -hmm. Need to be uh, um, Lisette and Walter, look at number yes. one, please. Yes. The carpet need cleaning. Mm, what happened there? Something is missing, Lisette and Walter. We had to use S, the third person. We That's have. right. Very good, Lisette. Yes, needs cleaning. Very nice. Uh, we, had a, we have. Mm, needs. We, That's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. We, we didn't be sure because uh, okay. we use gerund because no, but it's okay. Remember that is a gerund is not a, a present continuous, right? So gerund is like a name. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The carpet needs to be clean. Very good. The lamp need the, the same thing with the lamp. Very good. Yes. yes. Needs yes. Repairing. The lamp needs to be repaired. The window. The same thing with window. Window, yes. That's the only one. Unless Walter and Lisa, you can say the windows need cleaning. And then in that case, you don't need the S in needs because you have many windows, for example. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that in that case, in, in infinity is not necessary add S at the add in the in the word needs. Yes. Yes, it is because you're talking about singular. Okay. All right. I mean, the to be is like that, but the need, yeah, it needs to be with the inflection of the S. Yes. The gloves need picking up. That's fine. Yeah. 
Because it's plural. That's right. Yes, very good. Lizet, ¿cómo le va? Bien. ¿Todo tranquilo ya? Sí. Un poco ah. cansado, pero Me todo imagino. bien, gracias a Dios. Ok. Al momento aquí donde, donde yo trabajo no hay ningún caso. Ajá. Pero si la gente anda para arriba y para abajo. ¿En serio? Sí. Y eso que han puesto un montón de restricciones, pero siempre salen. Sí, me imagino. Pues sí. Walter, usted no está saliendo hoy. <risa> Walter se fue al parque hoy. Dice. Yes. Eh, a la playa fue Walter. <risa> <risa> Qué barbaridad. No, teacher. Ay. Walter, usted está en San Salvador. ¿Y hoy en San Salvador, Walter? No. No, eh, I live in Lourdes. All right, okay. Y ahí cómo se cómo uh -huh. Ah, okay. All right. Y ahí cómo está todo, Walter, más o menos. Uh, so, so. Como tres o cuatro casos este, mm. han habido acá. Sí. Pero sí ha estado, no ha estado muy, no, no se ha elevado mucho la cifra. Sí. ¿Y usted le, la... toca, le, to le toca salir, Walter, a trabajar o se queda en su casita? Dice que no, este, ya desde el 19 de de marzo que, que estoy en casa. Ah, de veras. Sí, no, no, nada de trabajo. Aquí solo este, me toca ir a hacer las compras a mí nada más. Sí. Ok. Sí. ¿Y dónde usted vive, teacher? ¿Qué tal? Pues fíjese que aquí, como yo estoy aquí en San Marco, ¿verdad? Ay. Entonces Ay, hay, ya, hay hay, ya hay casos. Ajá. Tomás no está muy lejos tampoco, ¿verdad? Y ahí hay otros casos. Entonces, pero miren, la verdad que yo no, no estoy saliendo. La última vez que salí fue hace casi 15 días. Solo a comprar. Solo a comprar, sí. Entonces tratamos de hacer como un solo shopping, ¿verdad? Para dos semanas por lo menos. Sí. Para no estar saliendo. Más que, que da la... miedo salir, sí. la verdad. Sí. Sí, la verdad, sí. Y más que pues sí. Tenemos, bueno, las dos niñas que están todavía pequeñas, mi esposo que padece mucho de los pulmones. Entonces, de por sí ya es así, ¿verdad? Entonces, como que mejor salimos bien. Y la que sale soy yo. No, y estaba leyendo un documental de que en el Reino Unido habían visto que habían bastantes casos de niños con una respuesta inflamatoria bien severa. O sea, no presentaban el COVID normal que si no de una forma bien grave, o sea, crean una inflamación a nivel de todo el cuerpo bien severo en los niños. Ay, no era así. Sí, uh -huh. sí da si miedo. Los niños. Sí, no, si le digo que de verdad que no, la, la última vez que salí fue ya, el viernes voy a tener 15 días de haber salido. Y es así, ¿verdad? Solo al súper y rapidito, porque más no vaya a ser. <risa> sí, y después sí. que llegue se baña. Sí. Sí, un gran protocolo que, que hay que seguir, pero pues sí, hay que hacerlo. Y hay que desinfectar las cosas también. Uh -huh, uh -huh, sí. Así es que aquí guardaditos niños y niñas. Sí, sí, hay que tratar de, de guardar las medidas al máximo. ¿verdad? Claro, pues sí, así es. That's right. All right, los dejo okay. seguir entonces. The tree needs a spraying. Ah, the tree needs... Needs watering. Para que explique, water. water puede ser verbo también, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. the tree needs watering. Mm -hmm. Very good. Watering. All right. Very good. I'm going to go see another group. Okay. Hi Anna, hi Juan, hi Jose. Are you guys finished? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Um, no. hi. No, we're yeah, we're still working on. Okay. It. All right. The last. Oh, okay. Very good. Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had a question. Uh huh. What's For your example, question? Yeah. Both both type of centers need to when when are in simple present. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, when we use ENG with the bare need. Mm -hmm. We need to ask uh, the S needs. 
Yeah, example, if it's if it's third person singular, yes. No, and also okay. when when we use past participle. The yeah, let's see the let's see the sofa needs to be need yeah needs to be cleaned for example or vacuumed. Ah okay. Okay and yeah both. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, you can see the all the the sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, no unaware. Uh, in this chat. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. No, I don't, Anna. I cannot see your oh, sentences. Wow. Yeah, okay. we put some examples right there, and, and we thought that you were going to be able to see. No. Mm -hmm. No, I'm oh, sorry, but, uh, no. Uh -huh. Well, but we're doing um, as the best you told us. Okay, all right, perfect. You know what you can do uh, for next, uh, like tomorrow or something, you can always, like some of you can like open a Word document and be uh -huh. typing on it. So when, and then you share your screen. So when I come in, I can uh -huh. see your, uh-huh, I can see your sentences. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So yeah, remember that if it's single, um, if it's simple present and third person singular, the need is going to change. Mm -hmm. It's going to be needs or it's going to be need, depending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Um, how, how many? You? My dear teacher. Hello, how are my you? dear student. I'm fine. How are you? I, I invent in the last question, teacher. <laughs> Why? For example, I the carpet keeps our placing uh, with her own place. Ah, uh, like moving our place. The uh -huh. carpet keeps. Yes. You can say the carpet keeps moving out of place. That's fine. M mo moving. Moving. Mm -hmm. out moving out of, of place. <laughs> right. Our place. place. Yes. Very good. It's better. Sure. Lo más mejor. Lo más mejor. <laughs> Yes, Evelyn, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. No, the carpet keeps moving out of place. Out of, yes, out of. That, that's the question, teacher. Would that's, you be... Let's see. The flowers need to be revived. Okay. The flowers need reviving. The flowers oh, keep Indeed. dying. Keep dying. Keep dying. Mm -hmm. Like, like that. Dying. No, no, no. That, that, no, spell it right. D I E. D I D I E. Like, D I E. D I I. El versículo. I. Vamos a empezar with basic one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> why not, teacher? With you. <laughs> At the end of the, of the word, teacher. Oh, yeah, whatever. The, Dying. No, quítale esa de. Quítale esa de. Dying. Uh -huh. Dying. Y le pongo aquí así. Eh, with a Y. Dying. Así. No, ING después de la. Uh -huh. ING aquí. Ay, no, ahí la Y de payaso. Dying. That word is is for it, I don't know. Basically, Ajá. No, la otra I después de la Y. Ajá. Dying, ahí. Dying. Sí, dying. Ya lo vamos a revisar. No se preocupe, pero usted dele con los demás. Let's see. Yes. Yes, teacher. Vamos a regresar los dos, my dear teacher. Ajá. Ya, pere, mire cómo es, Evelyn. Ya ve, este niño sí, tiene miedo. Este de miedo. Dai, ya no lo yeah. quiero. Es que yo creo que dying, 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 algo así es dying. dying. Mire, teacher. Ya no quiero Sigamos, ver nada, teacher. diga. No, no, sí, véalo. Ahí vamos a ver. No, espéreme, porque usted me está haciendo bullying, como siempre. 
¿Dónde está? Aquí. Quítele, quítele. Es al principio, la, la Y. Ay. Ajá, cabal. Ahí, there you go, ya, yeah, ahí va, ahí está. Vaya, Bye. vamos a regresar. The clothes need to be picked up. Ah, esa es cheating porque esa la tenía yo. Ajá. Sí, ajá, es, es eh, nomás para rellenar allí que usted vea que hicimos algo. Ah, pero mire ahí, Elmer and Evelyn, the clothes keep, puede ser, ajá. keep being on the floor. Keeping. Keep being. being on the floor. Keep, keep. Keep being on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. Okay. De que por eso la quiero. Of course. And tidy. The cows need to be moved. No. Okay. The cows the cows needs moving. moving. The couch keeps being on the Tidy. Okay. Tidy. All right. It's okay. The wallpaper keeps searching. The wallpaper mm -hmm. needs to be replaced. Okay. The okay. wallpaper needs replacing. Okay, very good. The floor needs cleaning. Yeah. The floor needs to be clean, cleaned. Yeah. The yeah. floor keeps on cleaning. Okay, the or you can keeps. say the floor keeps being unclean. Being, being? unclean. Being, like B I E, B E, no, 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 <laughs> B E I N G. Yeah, uncleaned. The floor clean. keeps being and clean. No, quítele la ing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And clean, right. Clean. Mm -hmm. The lab okay. keeps turning off. The lab needs to be fixed. The lab needs fixing. Very good. Mm -hmm. The ceiling fan keeps turning off. The ceiling fan needs needs to be changed. Right. Needs. Mm. Needs, needs to be. Yeah. Needs to be changed. Sí, le faltó needs. Needs. Uh huh. Need the, the second one. On the second one. I need to need the ceiling. The ceiling fan needs, needs to be. be. Uh -huh. Needs to needs, be. Yeah, there you go. Needs to be. Yeah, very good. Yeah, okay. Very good. Change. Good, Evelyn. Yo sé que esta la hizo usted, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> no. En equipo. Trabajo en equipo. Yeah, whatever. Mentira. Él no, no trabaja. Sí, ella, ella nunca. <laughs> Ella nunca cree en mí, pero está bueno. ¿no? Así, así es el amor. Así es el amor, oígalo. Uy, este Elmer. Entonces. Bye, Elmer. Very good, Evelyn. Good Bye, job, teacher. Evelyn. Thank you. Thank Bye. you so much. You're very welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? Great. Excellent. Are you finished? Great. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Very good. Let's see. So I'm going to share this with you so you can tell me a couple of sentences. Doesn't matter which type of sentence you use, as long as it's correct, it's going to be fine. All right. So, Williams, let's start with you. So I want everybody to be uh, like to pay attention to Williams because whatever he says, you cannot say it again. All right. So, for example, if William says something about the lamp, nobody can tell me anything about the lamp anymore. All right. Very good, Williams. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ceiling fan is broken. The ceiling fan is broken. So, what are you using, Williams? Uh, a adjective. Okay, past participle as adjectives. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good. Eli Larin, next one. Uh huh. The door. The door needs to be changed. Changed. The door need or the door needs, Eli. I have a question in the case. Okay. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I mm -hmm. don't know if it's singular use es or not. Right. If it's singular, Ellie, you have to use s on the verb. If you have only one yes. door, the door needs. 
Okay. Yeah. The door needs to be changed. Excellent. Very good. All right. So nobody can tell me anything about that anymore. Erika Barca, give me one sentence, please. Okay. The plant needs watering. Oh, very good. The plant needs watering. Very nice sentence. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Let's see. Uh, Walter. My dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. I have a question. What's when you question? use plant, is uh, the same, the similar to Spanish plant, plant. Uh, when you refer to Plantita. enterprise or, or yes, yes, plant is yeah. like a fabric too. Also, yeah, it depends on the context, Elmer. But you can say plant or flower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but but it's plant in this case. It's right. plant, 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 like yes. uh, Spanish. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Or you can say flower if you want to, but I don't see any flower there. Right? Plant, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Very good. All right. Le, let's see. I was with El. Uh, no, no, Elmer. All right. Walter, can you give me one sentence, please? Okay. The carpet needs cleaning. The carpet needs cleaning. Perfect. All right. Francisco, another one. There is a scratch on the wall. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Very good. Thank you. You're using as a noun. Very good. Evelyn Torres, give me another one. Evelyn, Evelyn? No? All right. Lisette, can you give me one? Oh, okay, Evelyn? Oh, no, no. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. um, the couch needs to be replaced. The couch needs to be replaced? Okay. Very good. All right, nice. Lisette, another sentence, please. Um, the clothes, the, which one said the last one person? Uh, the, the couch, clothes. the couch. Oh, okay. The clothes need picking up. Okay, the clothes need picking up. Very good. All right, nice. Ana Valencia, can you give me another one? Uh, the room needs to be deep cleaned. Say it again, I'm sorry. The room okay. needs to be deep cleaned. All right, okay, so the rug instead of the carpet, that's okay, all right. Magdiel, can you give me another one? Yeah, teacher, um, I think the... Okay, the, the fan needs to be repaired. Okay, very good, all right. So, Rocio, give me another sentence. Let me see. <laughs> and uh, the window mm, needs okay. to be opened. Okay. Excellent. All right. Yes. All right. Very good. Jose Ramos, can you give me another sentence, please? <clears throat> okay. The rock needs needs cleaning. Okay. Okay. You're also using the rock or yeah, that's okay. In a different way. Very good. Diego, Galicia, another sentence? The man keeps staying inside of the room. <laughs> oh my goodness, no kidding, eh? He's, yeah, he's spying on someone. All right, very good. All right, another one, the last one, Juan. Uh, Revalo, can you give me one? Um, the window needs to be fixed. Okay, very good. All right, perfect. Okay, oh. excellent, guys, very good. So I see that you guys have understood the topic. I think this one was a little easier than the ones that we studied the, the day before. But remember that we have, we have learned many ways to describe or say something, or something that is happening to us. In this case, like we're focusing on problems. All right, so remember that you can use past participles as adjectives. You can use nouns to describe problems or you can use keep plus gerund when something keeps on repeating and repeating and repeating. Or you can use need plus passive infinitive, or you can use need plus gerund. Either way, you're expressing or describing a problem, okay? I don't know, guys, if you have watched the video that is at the very beginning of your platform, of section one, there is a video about these two people going into a hotel. Have you seen yes. the video? Did you yes. watch it? All right, yes. what I want you to do right now, not right now, but what I want you to do, like maybe tonight or tomorrow before the class, 
I want you to watch it again. And I want you to pay attention to all the things they complain about, all right? So everything is broken in the hotel. And nothing is working, all right? So now I want you to pay attention because now you have studied what they talk about on the video, okay? So it's going to be easier for you to recognize it, okay? If it's necessary, okay. take notes, okay? Because you're practicing, you're listening, okay? So that's what I want you to do. That's going to be a short homework that I, I do really want you to do it, okay? Watch it again and try to write down what they're talking about, okay? And try to identify, are they using adjectives? Are they using nouns? Are they using keep plus gerund? Are they using need plus passive infinitive? Are they using need plus gerund, all right? So the idea is for you to identify what are they talking about and how they are describing the problem, okay? Okay. All right, okay. guys, so okay. thank you so much. Tomorrow is the last class of this week. Week one is finished pretty much, okay? Time flies. Very good fun. job, okay? Super sure. good job, guys. Yes, Walter. Can you please send us the presentation? Oh, of please? course, Walter, right away. I'll send it right now, okay? <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, guys. Thank Have you. a good night. Thank I'll see you. you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. Leave tomorrow. in English. Bye. All right, good dream night. in English. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you.